<laughs> uh, guys, congratulations on the film. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I feel like this might be a knives out moment for the erotic thriller, a nice big oh. comeback of of these things that were about in the 90s when I was a, a wee lad. Mm. Um, I won't say any more than that. But uh, I just wondered for you, uh, when you read the script, what made it kind of refreshing and, and made you want to get involved? Maybe, uh, Natasha, I'll swing that to you first. Um, exactly as you're saying. I just felt like I hadn't read a script for an erotic thriller in a really long time. And I wouldn't necessarily delve into this genre without it being a really smart, edgy script with a director that I love and feel comfortable with. So a lot of things stood out to me, but it's just really well done. And there's so many plot turns that we can't predict. And we were saying how you think you know where it's gonna go and you really don't multiple times. Um, but yeah, I just haven't really read many scripts like this. It felt pretty unique, as you're saying, it feels like a little revival of the genre. Yeah, was that the same for you, Ben, when you when you read this? Definitely, yeah, and I'm, I am a big fan of that genre. And uh, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I love those kind of 90s thrillers and beforehand. But, fatal Attraction. Well, yeah, actually I was gonna talk about Fatal Attraction, but I think what makes this different and is the fact that Fatal Attraction, whilst I think it's a great movie, it's definitely of its time in the sense that Glenn Close's character, you know, playing this kind of femme fatale, who's mm. who just to me anyway, watching it, it just doesn't. She doesn't really seem to have a reason for why she mm. she is what she is. She just mm. seems a little bit kind of crazy, you know. Which I'm sure I'm sure Glenn Close herself has probably done all that work behind the scenes, but we don't see it as a as a viewer. So I think what makes this different is it's it it a it kind of flips that on its head, and that we have a female protagonist. But um, but b I do feel like those roles are explored a bit more in terms of why people do what they do. Yeah. And I mean, it's a, 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 it's a thriller. There's a lot of jumps and scares and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, they, we have Freddy Krueger's of the world and Michael Myers and lots of real world things. But I don't think there's more a more painful thing than watching some of those eye sequences because genuinely, yeah. I'm just, <laughs> just too, honestly, with me and my guy, I'm kind of blind. I was just talking to Sydney. She was saying the same thing. But I know you guys were kind of periphery involved in that. But when you see that, does that, is that a thing for you that kind of makes you a bit like, wow, that's, that's you, need, you need some special skills to be able to do that? Eyes away, do you know what I mean? I wasn't squeamish about it at all. Um, I had my first eye exam ever on the film, which is hilarious. <laughs> um, yeah, because we were shooting at an actual uh, optometry clinic and I just took a test with one of the staff and I found out I have 2019 vision. All right. Which is apparently better than 2020. Right. Isn't that crazy? That's amazing. Anyway, that's really not answering your question. <laughs> I, I did find it quite scary being, being like in on that machine, you know, being on yeah. that machine, yeah. being, you know, because yes. it, it was a real um, optician, wasn't it? And there's it also there, the setting that can actually it. damage your eye if it wanted to. Yeah, exactly. And being like, under that. Yeah. 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 And feeling the light on your I eye. I had a thought of like, I hope they press the right button. Yeah, what if, what if, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that clamp, that, when you see that clamp, there's a, a, there's a sequence in the movie where they, the kind of the clamp, it's just, oh, it's just, yeah. it's just terrifying. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Terrifying to me. I will say as well, my vision's probably about 10. I'm really blind. <laughs> <laughs> Half is good? Oh, okay. Terrible, <laughs> terrible, terrible. Uh, just very quickly, Ben, I just wanted to ask you, you obviously are a photographer in this movie. What, what, um, what did you find harder to kind of quote unquote, fake being a photographer being roger taylor or having been an x-man with wings <laughs> um what is a fake probably uh probably the wings you know probably the wings because that's like one that involves the most imagination i suppose mm. um yeah but actually there's more freedom that now i'm going to change it to roger taylor for the drumming because that was very hard because actually that's more visible seeing the mm -hmm. drumming whereas I did learn about photography as much as I could in the limited time frame and I bought a Leica and, and actually we you were did. going around weren't we, we yeah were we were going around I got some good pictures of Tash photos. on there not like that I uh, haven't seen any of them <laughs> no that's true yeah, yeah, well, <laughs> sorry yeah sorry it's been two years. yeah yeah because I'm wandering around Montreal um, <laughs> yeah I know I really Jesus, should I've got, one, I've got the behind the scenes out. Camp, this is the uh, moment to do it I know I know I know um but yeah, but it's easier to fake, I think. Can you Cut play to a photographer saying to me that I looked like I didn't even know how to hold a camera. Have you hmm? said that? No, I'm saying cut to, I'm saying- Oh, that, okay, yeah, okay. Like, <laughs> no, you're great in the film. <laughs> I will say your Figaro, Figaro, I mean, I haven't ever many times you had to do that, it's pretty impressive because that would have strained uh, my voice in telling you that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it would be right. heavily. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, uh, congratulations on the film again. Thank you so much for your time and uh, yeah, good luck with it. Thanks so much. Thanks, mate. Have a good day. Thank you. You too.
ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!